Look at the space. Huge. This was set up with a dining room table here, and then they had created an informal sitting area here. What I'm going to do is completely eliminate dining area from the space, utilize it as a living area, push toward the front of the house, then come through. Let's talk about this. The homeowners had said all they wanted was a facelift to their kitchen. Obviously, we can't do that. These are old cabinets that have just been painted. To try and match them out is difficult and pointless. Instead of updating the kitchen, I'd like to gut it and add a new island and create a new bigger kitchen by taking down that pantry and wall. Where are we at on budget? It's not huge, $95,000. OK. It's always a challenge. It is. Now, the next thing that they're asking for is to have that sunroom completely renovated to become part okay. of the main living space. OK, got you. We're going to rejig some space that's existing here. But okay. first, the bathroom is very straightforward, just a total upgrade. Now, in here, this is now going to be a dedicated guest room. This was the children's room. Good, nice size for an office. This is awesome. Ah. This is great. We're going to create a new entrance from the main hallway where those existing closets are. And we're going to wall off that existing doorway. Melissa and John have experienced the process of house hunting and renovating their home. Now it's time for them to see how it all turned out. So, so, here we are. Hello, Hillary. It's a big day. Yeah. Yay. Let's check it out. All right, come on in. How do you like the floors? They've been finished. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. There's bright and shiny. So turn around. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Let's go into Can we go your office? office? Oh, wow. my goodness. It's, this doesn't even look like the it same It doesn't. Room. Not even the same place. This is so exciting. It actually is genuinely a great space to work. It's Incredible. certainly very corporate, but it's also very much part of the house. Incredible. As you will see. We did your door. Wait. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Just pulled. Yeah! No way! <laughs> this awesome. really opens. This is it. insane. That's what well you wanted. Done. This is fantastic. Let's move on. Ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. So let's just remember what this used to be. Oh, my goodness. This is wow. insane. I really didn't understand how we would flip them, and it makes sense. This is fantastic. I love the bar. But this is just such a great space for your friends because you've got your different conversation Gosh. areas. This. this is great for entertaining the spot. You can have a really grand party here. Yes. And guests can walk around and have chit chats. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah? I don't know about this bungalow. Why? It looks like a surgery gone bad. It does, doesn't it? It does. Bad stitching. I think it's been fixed. That happened how, a while ago. How do you know this? Because how I can do you see know that the they plaster, fixed it? Because the plaster has gone over it. All right, this way. Kids' bedroom, baby's bedroom, both. Not sure. Definitely baby. You've got a crib and a changing table. Um, yeah, both. Both. Anyways, you're going to fix that, right? Let's go. This is absolutely a kid's bathroom. Look, they've got little seahorses. It's so sweet. The master bedroom. So, unless there is a walk-in closet with a bathroom in there... I'm not even looking, and I know there's no bathroom. It means that... Right? That bathroom now is potentially the bathroom for everyone. There might be more. I could be wrong. <laughs> this is the master. Oh, David. I'm sorry. So what? So I was wrong. I'm you, not destroyed by that. You must be so used to being wrong. Uh, it's OK. It's good. So they have a master bath. How fantastic is this bathroom? Actually, it's kind of cool. There are so many cracks in the ceiling. This is Reaching a crescendo, the cracking crescendo. It's not me reaching it, it's the house reaching it. Those cracks are becoming an obsession. But obviously, they would want it to be updated. Hey, they got a nice backyard, too. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, good. Yeah. Why are you in my way? I'm, I'm trying to get out of your way. <laughs> it's kind of impossible when you don't move. I would say this is very nice, isn't it? it there's a sense of spaciousness. OK, well, this is epic. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Never mind the ceiling. I know, but this one is epic. Just look at these pillars. You got to love these pillars, eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not really. That's it's holding everything really, up. Don't touch it. It's not really doing a good job. Let's have a look at this kitchen. 
So this could do with a spruce up. It's not just a spruce up. There's not enough storage. It's not big enough for a family. So I can deal with that. Laundry room and garage. I guess it's not a bad place for the laundry. It's a perfectly good place. Oh! <laughs> wow! Holy moly! Oh, the house is great just for this. Oh, look at this, full bathroom. This is a great space. What's this? Huh. Oh, look at this. Ooh, you could turn this into a sauna. Wouldn't that be amazing? It would. Think about that. Do you know that people never use their home saunas? And I like do. 99.9% .9 of the people... No, but you really? have a little plug-in job. It's an infrared that. sauna. It's good yeah, for you. You plug it in, you switch it on, you sit in it, you plug them. It's a plug-in. Hey, that's about the size of your plug-in, isn't it? Enough about my sauna. <laughs> I think this is amazing. I mean, they should stay right here just because of this. Never mind everything else that I'm going to do. Get out of here. That's a big leap. This house has some major issues that need to be resolved. The fact that it's old, creaky, with a few cracks in the ceiling doesn't worry me in the least. Clearly, there are some issues in this house that she's going to have to deal with. Kitchen updating, bathrooms updating, make the ceilings not have patches all over the place. But I have to admit, this house has a lot of upside. I love it. I just hope they don't. This is going to be easy. Except that actually nothing's ever really easy. As the furniture and decor come in and all the final touches are put into place, Hillary hopes she's done her job of winning Maggie over. Excited? Uh, that's an understatement. Really? Yeah. I'm, Day's finally here? Wait. Yes. I am very excited. <laughs> I'm very glad. <laughs> very, very excited. Well, come on, let's all go. Right, let's go. So. Oh, my. This looks amazing. Wow. This is crazy. I think I honestly might cry. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So open. Do you remember what was here? You had the two favorite pillars right here. Yep. And you had the drop beam running across. I mean, I can't right. even remember what we had here. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. You've got a bar here. I love it's it. This was just like the most awkward, awful hallway, essentially, and now it's actually like livable space. This is better than I honestly could have even imagined. I cannot believe how you utilize this space. It looks so good. The kitchen is going to get completely demolished. Come and look, there's some stairs in there. Now that the stairs that we just looked at are going to be refinished, I don't need these back stairs anymore. And I can push the kitchen all the way back over there. This will no longer be open, obviously. We don't want to see a mudroom. That wall comes down, open it all up the way it should have been in the first place. So you want that whole wall gone all the way down? Yep. OK. I'll pull measurements to see if we can stay in wood or if we need to get into a steel beam and what's going to go on there. Now, I'm going to double check with the homeowners how they feel about this, but I'd like to square off the room and demolish that. Get rid of that fireplace? Yeah. I'll talk to the contractor about what it's going to take to get that taken out. But the boys are now moving upstairs, so that's really the key to this working. Show me. This was their old guest room. Oh, wow. It's huge. So yeah. this can be one of the boys' bedrooms. And now, look at this. Wow. So there's a space right here that I could put the second bedroom. Oh, yeah. Fit a closet in here. And... Yeah. Absolutely. I think it works really well. And this can still remain a family gathering spot. I think it's great. In terms of our budget, it's $145,000. It's a huge, huge big deal. We've got existing stairs that we're changing, right. existing stairs that we're eliminating. But I don't know if I can do all of that for the budget. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is not our house. Wow. <laughs> this wall came down. This is unbelievable. It is more gorgeous than I ever could have imagined this space being in. This, to me, is exactly how this space should always have been used. Better Look at this. Here. It's so open. It's so you now have <gasps> the most extraordinary kitchen oh anybody God. could wish for. I mean, it feels twice the size that it did. It does feel twice the size. I Never. love the fixtures. I love the colors. But the most important thing is that it functions. You have this fabulous square island. One of the reasons that it's square here is to give you the seating. And we'll definitely utilize that. Absolutely. Honestly, I haven't seen a brand new home that looks better than this. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. And you have connection with this entire space. This is a place you want to hang out in. Or it becomes more formal, 
if you decide you want to sit at the dining room table. Look at the view. I love this table. I do too. It's the perfect size. This is a perfect use of the space. I, I just can't believe this is, this is our home. Let's go now and look at this little space. Oh, my gracious. This is a great room for your mother or any guest. It's perfect. Terrific. Knocking it out it, of the park right now. <laughs> All right, let's see what's behind those barn doors. Oh Whoa. my gosh. Wow. This is awesome. Look at what? all this storage for oh, supplies. I could cry. And this is taking all those little messy spaces across the house, putting it behind doors. And you can close it off. This is a room where children's imagination should go wild. They can paint, they can play games. They are move. going to flip out over this. I mean, they are going to just. They're going to lose their minds. It. I'm ready to keep going. <laughs> Your new laundry room. <laughs> what? Wow. I have counter space to fold clothes. Look! <laughs> Look at the floor. There's so much more room in here. We were so cramped before. This is uh, huge. Anything. We came up with another plan for the mudroom, remember? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's what we're going to go and look at now. Let's okay. go check it out. Okay. Wow. Oh, my god. This is awesome. Look at this going down. This was just taking a little bit of space from your garage. You're not going to miss it. And you've suddenly got an interior space when you come in that continues to the second floor. And that's where we're going next. All right. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wow. Davis is going to flip out. What? It's huge. It is he... huge. Yep. This and is... it's quiet. It is. What a great use of the space. You remember <laughs> all the conversations we had about your space. It's huge. No, there's still plenty of space up here. Yes. Plenty. We've got lots of sound dampening materials in that wall. I don't think it'd be much of an issue. Good. Uh, now let's go and see Harrison's bedroom. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, I love this it. is awesome. Where did all this space <laughs> come from? Wow. It's not as large as Davis's, but this is, a, to me, a perfect size room for a little boy. <gasps> what? This is nicer than our closet. Two, is... two great rooms for the kids. Oh, this is, this is great. I think Hagen and I need a place that functions better for the two of us. Yes. This is an incredible neighborhood. That's probably it's, why mm -hmm. you, you bought it here. Is, it is. I've done an evaluation, and the current value is $325,000. Now, what do you want from me to get you out of this house? I believe that's you, then. You have a list for me of stuff <laughs> that you need? Open concept kitchen and living room, two separate hangout spaces, three bedrooms, a laundry room, a dedicated office for Catherine, and more square footage overall. Is location a big deal for you guys? Yes. Absolutely. Does it have to be in this neighborhood? Ideally, yes. What is the budget for the new house? 400000 No, it's not. Yet. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Doesn't really seem likely, but... It's beyond not likely. I can show you whatever's for sale in this neighborhood, but I guarantee you it's probably going to start around 5 Okay. I know you're happy about that. It's the truth, and I am happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to do my best. Over to you. So... I'm here to make this house work. So I need to know what you want from me to convince you that this is a house you could stay in. Uh, renovate and enlarge the kitchen, increase the size of the dining room, make my office bigger, and then make the minor bath a master bath. OK, so what space are you willing to give up for all of that? I'm not done with my list yet. Well, OK, go. Finish the basement. Really? What's my budget? Still not finished yet. <laughs> what else? I love this. <laughs> Create a laundry room. Replace our deck. It's old and rickety. You done? I am done. Big question. How much do I have? $110,000. With the list you've just given me, there's no way. Sorry, we're both bearers of bad news here, but okay. there is no way. OK. We both have a tough job ahead of us. I okay. mean, David to try and find something that apparently doesn't even exist, and me trying to stretch those dollars. You've already heard. You're not going to get more space out of it. No. The only place you're going to get more space is from me. Yes. Might not be in this neighborhood, but it's going to be more space. And then when you see it, the only thing you're going to say about this cozy house is listed. I like it. I don't. 
Catherine and Hagen have gone through the ups and downs of house hunting and renovation. Now it's time for them to see how their house has changed. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm great. Look at you. You're both <laughs> giggling and smiling. And, oh, I love that. This is an incredible transformation. OK, come and take a look. Megan. Oh my goodness. Look at her living room. <laughs> I don't know if I have words. <laughs> I, wow. It's an actual living room that we yeah, definitely is... did not have before. It was a pass through to the dining room. Wow. The key is exactly what you described. The fact that you no longer had to sort of work your way around whatever was here and then go on into your teeny weeny dining room. Yes. That being closed off has created exactly what you see, our room. Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> this is great. So you ready to move on? Are you ready Take to move on? Take a deep breath. Ready, okay. steady. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Catherine. This. This is so cool. This is this is incredible. <laughs> this is huge. This is a huge kitchen. Great big island. I love these countertops. And then we just created a little place where the food can be out, where it's sort of out of the way yeah. right there. Yeah, for the creatures. Well, let's come around this side. Okay. Look at this. Open that. Pantry. Oh. Second oh, pantry. Wow. Storage for days. Now, <laughs> I think the biggest change here is the fact that we don't have a drop ceiling anymore. It just feels like part of the house. So let's remember, you used to walk in this way where the fridge is. You had that absolutely minuscule dining area. Yes. I know. You had stairs. And then you had sort of no man's land here. How long have you lived here? This will be 12 years in July. I have learned to fall in love with it. I mean, it has its limitations. All right. Now, I've done a valuation on your house. And the current value as it stands is $355,000. All right. All right. Uh, which one of you wants to move? That would be me. All right, then. Now, what is the must-have list to get you out of this house? Mostly a one-story home okay. because of Garrett's accessibility issues. Right. We do need a universal design for accessibility. We need wider doorways. OK. A bathroom that is very safe for Garrett, that doesn't have a ledge or a step for him to get into the shower. Right. And a ramp on the at least two entrances. OK. A renovated kitchen. OK. A large master bath. We need four bedrooms, an office for Garrett, and a space for myself. Are we done? I think that about covers it, yes. So if it has a master bedroom on the main floor and the kids' bedrooms are upstairs, is that OK? If we had some way of getting him up those stairs, a chairlift or an elevator, then I'd be OK with that. All right. I will but see what that, I can do. But I'm just, I'm just letting you know what the difficulty is going to be in finding that. That's all. And I appreciate that. What's the budget for the new house? Our budget for a new home is $475,000. All right, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. It is a challenge for you, and it's a challenge for me as well. But um, why don't you tell me your must-have list? This is going to be a, a real easy list for you, is that I, I really don't have one. What we need to have happen is, is make this house accessible to me, more accessible. You know, knowing what things cost, and, and especially when it's medical, they, they're astronomical. So I don't think that it can be done for the budget that we have. I understand the safety and I know about universal design. But what I need to know is the budget. For this project, we can give $140,000. Really? Yeah. With $140,000, I believe that I can turn this into a house that will be safe and that will work for you on all levels. And honestly, I think that you, not just Tammy, but you, Garrett, will love it. Tammy and Garrett are excited to see their newly renovated home, and the exterior has already won Tammy over. I always wanted um, a place in the front of the house, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Very good. And how do you feel about the color, your lime green? Well, I, I think I like the color quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Excellent. You were so concerned with the fact that your house should not actually show a ramp. Very I nice. feel that we solved this. I like it. Are you ready to see what's behind the fence? I'm ready. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, if this is really um, way above my expectations. Wow. Tammy, this is for you and your girlfriends. This is really stunning. And occasionally, Garrett, when you allow. When he's allowed. When I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah. 
I just have always wanted a front porch, and I didn't think this house would lend itself to it, but it does. It's wonderful. I can't wait for my girlfriends to see it. You ready to see the rest of your house? Yes. Yes. OK, here we go. This was your daughter's room, so we turned your old master into one of the children's rooms. Oh, perfect. This is a very new place. The walls are still neutral, but the upholstery brings in the fun. These are ways of just bringing color into, into the room for you. Stunning. Just brilliant. Wow. If you had just plunked me in this room, I would never believe this was our <laughs> house. Doesn't it feel huge? It is the huge. fireplace is gorgeous, and the colors. This is awesome. It's amazing. It's all universal design everywhere, but this is so that you are that. part of the action as much as you want to be. Right. And to make that even easier, this is a lift chair. Oh, nice. And then when you're ready to get back in the chair, yep. it will just help you up and out. No, this is, this is great. We move on here to the dining area. And notice your floors, which are brand new. Wow. It's visually seamless. And now... I love the wider doorway. This is how we reworked the space. Oh, my gosh. OK. Loads of storage. They're deep and wide and, and just perfect for all of our storage needs. And then let's talk about this. A proper laundry area. So anything we don't want to put in the dryer, we just hang here. Yeah. I love good design. I have a fabulous team. What can I tell you? Whoa, cool. <laughs> hey. This is really This is nice. our bedroom. It's amazing. This is hard to believe it was your garage. We have created not just an extra bedroom for you, but it's your little sanctuary. Right. right. You have a his and her closet space. I mean, that's pretty cool for anybody. Wait, all of this is mine? Well, unless Garrett decides to take over part of it, but I think he's in good shape with his. So it comes all the way down. I was wondering how was it going to reach up there. That's how. <laughs> that is cool. Genius. Now, this is wonderful. Yeah, it's really great. I really like this.